played together. Oh, there was no it's second like, match. Yeah. FaZe looked to get the last lap. They lock it down. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking up, baby, come on. Let's get it. Fuck some land, baby. Personally, I hate Boston because I went to Boston last year, got second to Atlanta phase. The drought has ended. Then I went to Boston this year, got second, which we'll talk about more later. But I mean, I'm getting back to back seconds. Like I can't win in this place. The thought process uh, behind picking up Zach, you know, is um, he is an insane player one of the best flexes in the past few years and you know he brings that insane pace to your team that um really can't be matched my pace with the you know tiny terrors with mc as well they switching to main ar fully i think that was just gonna be like the best in the game so the reason why i kind of didn't go for any other offers is i feel like the other offers weren't as complete and didn't make as much sense as in just it's as simple as that they need a fast they are and I was a fast they are. His his passion his passion is just nuts. I, like to be honest, literally every single day that you play, he's trying to just smoke the other team. And um, yeah, like to be honest, like out of, out of out of any team we've ever had, this is probably like the most hard we've ever gone in practice. Yeah, it's uh it's always funny when you're first meeting your teammates uh, right before the game, like a week before the game. We had a lot of content, and honestly, one of the best ways to bond with your team and have fun is when you have to do content because everyone's there to do it. And you know, when you're you know fucking around, playing around, waiting for shit to happen or some funny things happening, um, so we had like. I think five or six days of straight content. So we were in that same room for like six to eight hours each day. So it was a good bonding experience and to do all these different things and get more comfortable on camera with each other and just talk to each other and chill. Cause obviously I knew them before that, but that was like the first time meeting them in person. So I think content was a huge way just to, you know, get to know each other and have, you know, funny things happen on camera and whatnot. Chill out, chill the fuck out. You're gonna win this game, I care about this. Take this fucking right now. Or is this guy, take that. Yeah. Get off the board. Get off the board. <laughs> 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 Wait. What did you just do? You just throw. Main troll. Maybe because the piece wasn't on the spot. Build the coin. Nah. Nah. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. You fucking off. Damn, we, we, we shake his hand, we walk out of the head. Nick, who's always that? Seriously. One, one. Just like Tetaka. Just like every one of my test games. Oh! oh shit. No, I'm sick. Resign? No, no, no resignation. Shake his hand, resign, and take me quick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that? You're supposed to tell me your thing here. Yeah, you gotta tip it over. Tip your thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Good resignation, as he says. Dude, everybody came limping in. Just fucking just running down the fucking ramp right in front of everyone. That fucking rat had an absolute dumpy on him, bro. That was Dude, a big What, you're standing in a dumpy? Bro, that's all I could see. <laughs> that is what, am I not going to look? That's insane, bro. He's running through that shit. He don't give a fuck. Here we go. Let's get major one going. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, the first match against LAG, you know, obviously super confident going into it. We just knew that we were, you know, the better team overall. LAG. Three for fame. Can't get a four. Good work though on the break once again. That's a very supple 20 seconds they can be fighting over for here. Selim though. Oh my God, seemingly unkillable. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Double stun. We start off hot in the first map with a 250, 130-ish map. And then I think the only map that was close was the SD. is gonna be jumping on this one as quick as he can. It's the one air player. You got it. Dark, watch out. Yeah, hell time. This thing's okay. Moment. This could be for him a busy toe to toe. Wait for the region. He's nice. Nice. Good to see. Good to see. Good to see. Good to see. Let's go. Hell fucking down. Let's go. 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 Can he do what Abizi did so long ago in the search? Fights his way forward, takes control of the bomb site. The final 30 seconds now as the trophy is placed. Will he be able to get it done? Fame, he's given up the high ground. He's gone for it. The damage is there. Fame trying to stay alive. Bros do not fake. The trophy is in play. Fame hasn't checked it. He's not checked it. And that oh is God. the game. Oh my God. God. Oh my God. Uh, invasion control, like, I don't, I don't think we've won an offense in the online matches yet, but I personally believe that our offenses on that map are better than any team in the league. It's your odds of winning this map just spike if you're Atlanta phase. Shit, oh, shit, let's go. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just cap A and B. Who cares? Yeah, I think the first win's always a huge win, especially winning 3 0. So, dominant map one, dominant map three. You know, we haven't lost. We're delusional confidence. And uh, yeah, so we were just excited to play again. Blue game. Blue <laughs> game. Come eat Patrick Gakes, man. Oh my god. <laughs> against uh, Optic on Saturday, and I knew it was gonna be kind of a grueler match. And this is a spot for guaranteed top three. This is a big match. We're, we're all coming to play at our top level, and uh, we start off a little slow on the map one. 242 to 188, Atlanta looking for the break. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Going into the invasion SD, we went down. I think it was 4 2, and I'm pretty sure we brought that back and ended up winning every round after that, winning 6 4. The ice cream door pops everything. The bomb getting planted. So Dashi only finds a single kill and how about the stress of rounds in a row from Atlanta Phase. So we played them online on Invasion, so I knew it was going to be a grueler match. And this one goes to the wire. Ken hits an insane three-piece onto the four-piece to end the hill of the P1. Nations, here comes Selium from the front. Ken in! Oh! oh! The crowd's going crazy, and honestly, I got guns. So I was like, damn, like, Ken just turned the fuck up. You know, that's my, you know, my dad, like. He just turned up like that. Like I can't do. I can't take that serious. Yeah, I mean, after the, the huge four piece out of Ken, these yeah. uh, explosive players are gonna make plays, and it's gonna happen the same way any other of the seven players in the lobby could have done. You know, something similar at certain times in certain maps. Um, so it's all about just regaining and realizing that. We won the last s &D. We were going to a high-rise s &D, which we were pretty confident in. And, you know, we it's game five, and once you lose that map, you have to forget about it quick. He falls off, now time is an issue. Pred's gotta go, and he's gonna try to take this the other direction. Atlanta wrapping the other way, though, may lead to an opportunity for a plant to come out. No, the time will likely expire. He's gotta stick for it and sell. Oh, <laughs> Going into Toronto, the uh, the winners finals match, we we knew that us and Toronto were probably the like the two best teams in the game. We know that their their teamwork and their comms are always going to be on point. 
playing for grand finals against Toronto Ultra and our first map is Karachi hard point. We end up losing about 250 to 210. Only able to survive for so long and the first three kills go the way of Toronto. They time trying to over time. I need to time. I need time. I need time. I'm going to 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 yeah. Map 2, Invasion S&D. Obviously, we're really confident going into that because our Invasion's been so good, but uh, I really think they did a good job of like hard countering how we played that map. First shot's good from Kleenex. Zipper on the back, not quite able to find the train. It's oh. inside Domino, just down to sell. 1v3 situation. Oh, and it's getting nervy. 15 seconds on the clock, nowhere to go. They just had to hit a hard regain. We've re reversed sweep before, um, and it's you know time to do it again. And we go to the map three, we end up winning a, a pretty grueler control. I think it was a 3 2. And now Ultra are so trapped. Every single oh. angle from Atlanta phase is being watched. They got them in the blender. Nades are gonna hit sit, but you still don't find the kill. And it's only 35 seconds left. You gotta get out. That control map is such a huge map because all you have to do is win one hard point, you're, you're game five. So, you know, we're down 2 1. We're going to sub base hard point. We played against Optic earlier with the 250 ish, 190 close map. So we were, you know, we lost it, but we were still confident in it. Yes, they, 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 they tried nice. Could be good. Right. Trying to get they, they try, 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 try. I mean, it's a laundry list of things that would have to go right here for FaZe to even consider the word comeback. They just don't have any power positions. Top so is currently held right now by Toronto Ultra. Top three is held by Toronto Ultra. The preferred side of the map is held by Toronto Ultra. And it's been like that the entirety of this map number four. 245 <laughs> to 128. Put him to bed. Head to the grand finals. Ultra perfect. Unfortunately, we just kind of got smoked on that one. It was like a 250, 130-ish um, hard point, and I just think they were playing a little bit better than us, and uh, we weren't using our kills the best way. Probably dying in a few situations we shouldn't have, and that was the match for us. Toronto on to grand finals. We got a rematch against Optic. I think it was the P2. They got a string of kills on the P2, and one of the, one of them was going top AC. And now it's like, like we're best when we're in that scenario, but I feel like we're not. Like I feel like we're getting kills in like whole. Especially on that map, I feel like we're not catching people like off guard at all. Yeah. I feel like they're just like setting up. Even like bro at that last before, like you guys killed a bunch of people like in warehouse, and then like they just spawned up and looked at the warehouse. And it's like, oh fuck, what do we do? Like I feel like we're not like act like actually getting out and like getting loose and like making plays. I feel like we're just like behind on it. All those gunfights look so easy. Yeah. Um, after losing to Toronto, we had a uh, rematch with Optic to get back into the Grand Finals. I'd say this match looked way more like us, I'd say. Invasion S and D map two. We went six three clean S and D, and I mean we're, we're shooting on all cylinders. There's nothing really they can do about it. Sim, a first blood final round, waiting in the winds right now is another drops. It's Kenny against a kill. A trade should be there. Or I was about to say it should eventually be there. And we're going to invasion hardpoint again, which we played them last time on land. Kenny pops a three piece at 245, 245 to win him the game. So we're still super confident. If we just don't let him piece us up and play a little bit better, we should have probably won that map before that. Um, I think Chris ends up going huge on the P4 and getting us an extra like 15 seconds by three piecing them. Sim now on the hill. Uh, one more there. How long can he hold off? He's been able to take out two. Sim still no dancing. Way. Sim able to get three. Dear God, no way. Does he get all of them here? He's like, I got ammo. It's something, I hope. He's taken out three in the time that he has exhausted. It's a one-man wrecking crew. That's a solid 15 or so second difference he's able to do. We were probably at like 200-ish going into that P5. It's a hard, one of the hardest hills to break. And, you know, all you have to do is send out a few head glitches and, you know, make sure your comms are good and you're going to win the map and you're on to grand finals. So it's a huge hill and we ice up. We're playing the hill perfectly. I don't think they even get close to the hill. We're shooting great and we win that map 250, 210, beating Optic once Draza again. Draza lighting it up. Optic are scrambling. Optic are sprinting. It's five in a row for Draza. FaZe look to get the last lap. They lock it down in Palace. And Optic are out of the tournament, FaZe.
Yeah, so we're playing grand finals. This is for the chip. The moment that we've been waiting for, the moment I've been waiting for six months. We start off map one, Karachi. Point phaser in. Scrap from the outside. Finds one. The back line now. The hip fire. No good. Time now in phase's hands. The break. The break. Ultra hold. And they're going to get it to inside. Get a clean house. The spawn is distant. An ultra steal. Game number one. It's a 250-240 game. And honestly, we made some mistakes and we choked the map one. Going into that map too, you know, I think it was a Skidro S and D. We were super confident because we knew we were really good at Skidro, and we also knew that they were good at it. We got number five, Draza, playing off the information, but he plays into death. Scrap ready for it. Last man standing, Celium, a one versus two required. Is the fight? Scrap. Big tags, bomb planted now. Sell him in an absolute 1v1. Insight right back on the same spot! We just couldn't really clutch up in the moments we had man ups on that map as well. Going to map three, it was invasion control, currently down 2-0. Control's been our bread and butter, so we knew we need this one. Coming back from 0-3 is very rare, so we gotta lock in, have to win this one. We end up winning that one, I think, a 3 2 maybe a 3-1, um, and we're back. It's 2-1, so different than 0-3, obviously. After winning the control, we knew that we still had a really good chance to come back and win this finals. Uh, Skidrow Hardpoint was the next map. Um, that's once again, one of, our, one, of, one of our better hard points. But that new time coming through, a cruise missile broke it last time. Let's see what happens now. Sally, and this one's got your name on it, friend. I hope you have a trophy. Gone. Here come Ultra, can Kleenex win the game? Oh, Celium answers back with a cruise of his own. The battle of the ordinates right now is a tie. The trade's coming through from Atlanta. Desperation to hold on, the time's still in their hands, but such a long way to go. And now with the extra kills, you see Ultra, everybody group up together looking for the chow. Sim squares up, takes the fight. 25 seconds to go. Stay down, Mr. President, Abizi on the cross. Pushes forward, gets two. Honest A, back in the fight. And he got two, that means we're gonna more than likely go towards new Ultra. They toyed with the idea, but this game oh. is gonna end in P1. And Draza went on the fullest of flanks to try to set his team up. Back we go to P1. Every single moment has to go the way of FaZe right now. Ultra, they're in the apartments. They're in fire, they're in money. FaZe have gotta get a move on right here and now. Go, send it, try to contest. It can't be done. Uh, that's honestly another hard point where if you go back and watch it, I feel like we were just giving them way too much map control, way too much like, way too much 25s on scrap time, like whatever, whatever it may be, and they were just able to set up the breaks that we know that they're good at because they they had, they just have really good teamwork in general. Unfortunately, we go into the next map as an SD and we end up losing a 6-2, I believe. Sim's got a lot of work to do here towards the bomb site. Catch anyone out as he checked his possible corners. Gets gifted one. That's insight out of the equation. The bomb planted for maybe the last time here in Boston. It's a 2v2. Simp and Cell going against Envoy and Scrap. Split on the map for the moment. 32 left on the clock and Scrap gives you the next one. Another gunfight won. Can Chris Lair save his team now in the most dire of moments? 25 seconds on the clock. Smoke is out. And Simp, he's trying to pierce it. He can't get it done. Oh, man. On Karachi. We ended up losing, uh, I think, a 1v2. I ended up dying on B one time, which could have been easily a 4 4. We probably, maybe even were probably up rounds, depending if we just win the rounds we were supposed to. But they were playing good. They were wrapping the bomb a lot and they were making really good in game adjustments that kind of caught us off guard. And we ended up losing 4 1. And I just think the name of the game was we lost two SDs, which I feel like we were playing pretty lights out at, lights out at SD. Um, but honestly, I just need to, I feel like I need to play better in SDs. I feel like we could have gotten those SDs a lot closer than they were. 
And unfortunately, both hard points and kind of the whole way we lost to Toronto in my eyes is we lost three hard points against them in the winners finals and grand finals. And when you're playing a team that is as good as Toronto, you can't not win a hard point. And if you do not win a hard point, you have to win the s &Ds, or at least one of them to keep the game going longer. So it was a tough loss. And I just think that win a hard point, we win maybe winners finals, probably grand finals if we can just win a hard point because then we would have got like control again really good at control maybe into game seven s and d then it's up in the air but you know gg's toronto another second which is tough but we'll be back for major two and uh we just got fixed up our hard points which is a whole new game and it's time to get back to work because seconds basically last appreciate you guys and your support as always and uh we'll be back